And then I looked in and I said, you need to get your, give your heart to the Lord. He says, son, I'm as good as a little hypocrite down at the church. He was propped up in, his, in the hospital bed. And I looked at him and I said, Dad, do you want to spend eternity with Mother? Tears. And got his hand wet. Second time I ever seen him cry. I held my hands out. Said a simple prayer, and he repeated it. He made it through the surgery. No problem. His daughter never had, didn't come down. Did. One granddaughter visited in the, in the OCU for about 10, 15 minutes, and that was it. Sugar and I visited regularly. After three days, he went upstairs to rehab, and I was there every morning. The third morning, as I left the room, the nurses ran me out because they only have a certain amount of time you can be in there. And she ran me out. As I go out the door, he said, Son, I love you. At 10 o'clock that morning, we got a phone call. He had stepped across the finish line and went into eternity. Now, if I hadn't had the love of God in here, the way he treated me as a child, I wouldn't have done that. You can bank on it. And that's what we're doing to Raw Ranger boys and Raw Ranger girls and, and, and missionary girls. That's what the ministers are doing to them. It's teaching them the love of God. The Raw Ranger Code is only eight words. Alert, clean, honest, courageous, loyal, courteous, obedient, and spiritual. But each one of them has description words seven of them have three one of them has four has 25 words i'll give you an example honest a raw ranger does not lie cheat or steal would you like to have a son that didn't lie cheat or steal and that would been programmed into their mind into their computer spiritual do what? Praise, read the Bible and witness. Did you hear him? How many pastors would like to have a congregation where their people would pray, read the Word of God, and witness? Yeah. Now, each one of those had, that's the smorgasbord of Christian core values, 25 of them. And they've got to memorize them. They've got to learn to say them. They've got to learn the books of the Bible and quote them. They've got to learn the, the golden rule. Now, there is one scripture in the Bible that really turns me on, that I like. Proverbs 22, 6. It's a command. And God's, man, God's commands are serious. If you don't believe it, Ask a lot. Because he told Lot, the two angels went to Lot and told him to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah because he's going to destroy him. And I can feature the brimstone and fire coming out of heaven. That's probably one of the most impressive fireworks displays that ever happened. But he told Lot, don't look back. Simple command, three words. Don't look back. Now, 
I don't know why God would say that because I think it'd be interesting to be able to see the destruction and see the fireworks. But a lot's wife looked back. He turned her to a pill of salt. Right. Some people say he punished his wife, didn't punish him. Fiddlesticks. She's the one that cooks his breakfast and washes and irons his clothes and gives him children. How many how are you men like you go to bed with a pillar of salt? Would you enjoy it? I don't think so. If that's not punishment, I don't know what is. His commands, uh, God's commands are serious. Moses, when the children of Israel said they needed water for their families, for their, their horses and cows and dogs and cats and so forth, and he prayed to God, and God told him to strike the rock. And he did it, and water came gushing out. Can you feature how much water it would take to feed some two million people and all their animals. Later on, the same thing happened. And God told him to speak to the rock. Moses didn't do it. He struck it. That was a command. Speak to the rock. Speak to four words. Moses didn't get to go into the promised land. He was punished. Well, Moses' brother Aaron had two sons. They were high priests. And they performed a ceremony they shouldn't have performed. That God said not do it. Do I? Right. And God zapped them killed them. They didn't even have time to say, oh God, I'm, I'm, I made a mistake. Forgive me. His commands are serious. He means what he says when he, when he gives you a command. Now this verse I was talking about, Proverbs 22, 6, he is a command. Train a child in the way he should go. And it has a very wonderful promise and when he gets old he will not depart from it